The Autocephalous Orthodox Church of Albania Albanian, Kisha Orthodox e is one of the newest autocephalous Eastern Orthodox churches. It declared its autocephaly in 1922 through its Congress of 1922, and gained recognition from the Patriarch of Constantinople in 1937. The church suffered during the Second World War, and in the communist period that followed, especially after 1967 when Albania was declared an atheist state, and no public or private expression of religion was allowed. The church has, however, seen a revival since religious freedom was restored in 1991, with more than 250 churches rebuilt or restored, and more than 100 clergy being ordained. It has 909 parishes spread all around Albania, and around 500,000 to 550,000 unconfirmed faithful. The number is claimed to be as high as 700,000 by some Orthodox sources, and higher when considering the Albanian diaspora. History Ecclesiastically, Christians in Albania being part of the Illyricum province were under the jurisdiction of the Bishop of Rome 1st 8th century. At 732–733 AD the ecclesiastical jurisdiction of Illyricum was transferred to the Ecumenical Patriarchate of Constantinople. The Schism of 1054 formalized the split of Christianity into two branches, Catholicism and Orthodoxy that was reflected in Albania with the emergence of a Catholic North and Orthodox South. During the moment of Schism 1054, Albanians were attached to the Eastern Orthodox Church and were all Orthodox Christians. <inaudible> <inaudible> Orthodox Church during the Ottoman period The official recognition of the Eastern Orthodox Church by the Porte resulted in the Orthodox population being tolerated until the late 18th century. The Orthodox population of Albania was integrated into the Patriarchate of Constantinople, with the population of Central and Southeastern Albania being under the ecclesiastical jurisdiction of the Orthodox Archbishopric of Ored, and the population of Southwestern Albania being under the ecclesiastical jurisdiction of the Metropolis of Yanina. During the late 18th century, the poverty of the Orthodox Church, the illiterate clergy, a lack of clergy in some areas, and liturgy in a language other than Albanian, the reliance of the bishoprics of Duras and southern Albania upon the declining archbishopric of Ored, due in part to simony, weakened the faith among the church's adherents and reduced the ability of the Orthodox Albanians in resisting conversion to Islam. By mid 19th century, because of the Tanzimat reforms started in 1839, which imposed mandatory military service on non Muslims, the Orthodox Church lost adherents as the majority of Albanians had become Muslim. Movement for establishing an autocephalous Albanian Orthodox Church In the 19th century, Orthodox Albanians under the Patriarchate of Constantinople had liturgy and schooling in Greek and toward the late Ottoman period mainly identified with Greek national aspirations. For Orthodox Albanians, Albanianism was closely associated with Hellenism, linked through the faith of Orthodoxy and only during the Eastern Crisis and thereafter was that premise rejected by a few Orthodox Albanianists. In southern Albania during the late Ottoman period being Albanian was increasingly associated with Islam, while from the 1880s the emerging Albanian national movement was viewed as an obstacle to Hellenism within the region. Some Orthodox Albanians mainly from Kors and its regions began to affiliate with the Albanian national movement by working together with Muslim Albanians regarding shared social, geopolitical Albanian interests and aims causing concerns for Greece. Contribution to the national movement by Orthodox Albanian nationalists was mainly undertaken outside the Ottoman state in the Albanian diaspora with activities focusing on educational issues and propaganda. As orthodoxy was associated with Greek identity, the rise of the Albanian national movement caused confusion for orthodox Albanians as it interrupted the formation of a Greek national consciousness. At the onset of the 20th century the idea to create an Albanian orthodoxy or an Albanian expression of orthodoxy emerged in the diaspora at a time when the orthodox were increasingly being assimilated by the Patriarchate and Greece through the sphere of politics. The Orthodox Albanian community had individuals such as Yanni Vrato, Spiro Dine and Fan Noli involved in the national movement and some of them advocated for an Albanian orthodoxy in order to curtail the Hellenization process occurring amongst Orthodox Albanians. 
In 1905, priest Cristo Nagovani who had attained Albanian national sentiments abroad returned to his native village of Nagovan and introduced the Albanian language for the first time in Orthodox liturgy. For his efforts Nagovani was murdered by a Greek guerrilla band on orders from Bishop Caravangelis of Castoria that aroused a nationalist response with the Albanian guerrilla band of Bajo Tapuli killing the metropolitan of course, Photios. In 1907, an Orthodox Albanian immigrant Kristak Dishnika was refused funeral services in the United States by a local Orthodox Greek priest for being an Albanian nationalist involved in patriotic activities. Known as the Hudson Incident, it galvanized the émigré Orthodox Albanian community to form the Albanian Orthodox Church under Fan Noli who hoped to diminish Greek influence in the church and counter Greek irredentism. On March 18, 1908, as a result of the Hudson Incident Fan Noli was ordained as a priest by Russian Bishop Platon in the United States. Noli conducted the Orthodox Liturgy March 1908 for the first time among the Albanian-American community in the Albanian language. Noli also devoted his efforts toward translating the liturgy into Albanian and emerging as a leader of the Orthodox Albanian community in the USA visited in 1911 the Orthodox Albanian diasporas in Romania, Ukraine and Bulgaria. For Albanian nationalists, Greek nationalism was a concern toward the end of the 19th century due to overlapping territorial claims toward the ethnically mixed vilayet of Yanina. Those issues also generated a reaction against Greek nationalists that drove the Albanian desire to stress a separate cultural identity. Topic: <inaudible> Autocephaly and statutes. After Albanian independence in 1912, Noli, who in 1924 would also be a political figure and prime minister of Albania, traveled to Albania where he played an important role in establishing the Orthodox Albanian Church. On September 17, 1922, the First Orthodox Congress convened at Barat formally laid the foundations of an Albanian Orthodox Church and declared its autocephaly. Fan Noli was consecrated as Bishop of course and Primate of all Albania while the establishment of the Church was seen as an important development for maintaining Albanian national unity. At the end of the Congress the first statute of the Church was approved. The Church had a second statute that amended the first statute in a second Congress gathered in course on June 29, 1929. Also on September 6, 1929, the first regulation of general administration of the Church was approved. The Patriarchate in Istanbul recognized the independence or autocephaly of the Orthodox Albanian Church in 1937. On November 26, 1950, the Parliament of Albania approved the third statute that abrogated the 1929 statute. Such new statute required Albanian citizenship for the primate of the Church in its Article 4. With the exception of the amendments made in 1993, this statute is still in force for the Church. On January 21, 1993, the 1950 statute was amended and 1996 it was approved by the President of the Republic Sali Berisha. In particular, Article 4 of the 1950 statute that required Albanian citizenship for primate of the Church was no longer required. On November 3 and 4, 2006, at the new monastery of St. Vlash in Duras, there was a special clergy laity assembly of the Orthodox Autocephalous Church of Albania, attended by 257 representatives including all clergy members. At this assembly the new constitution statute of the church was analyzed and accept unanimously. On November 6, 2006, the Holy Synod approved this constitution statute. On November 24, 2008, the Orthodox Autocephalous Church of Albania and the Council of Ministers signed an agreement according to the 1998 Albanian Constitution, for the arrangement of their reciprocal relationship. The agreement was ratified by the Albanian Parliament, and became law NR.10057, January 22, 2009 of the Albanian State. Archbishops. The primate of the Orthodox Autocephalous Church of Albania is also the Archbishop of Tirana and Duras. The current Archbishop of Tirana is Archbishop Anastasios of Albania. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Persecution. The church greatly suffered during the dictatorship of Enver Hoxha as all churches were placed under government control and land originally held by religious institutions were taken by the state. Religion in schools was banned. 
Similarly, Hosha propagated that Albania is threatened by religion in general, since it serves the Trojan horse style interests of the country's traditional enemies, in particular orthodoxy those of Greece and Serbia. In 1952 Archbishop Christophor was discovered dead, most believed he had been killed. In 1967 Hoxha closed down all religious buildings in the country, and declared Albania the world's first atheist country. All expression of religion, public or private, was outlawed. Hundreds of clergy were killed or imprisoned. As a result of this policy a total of 600 Orthodox churches were demolished there were 1,600 in 1944. Other buildings of the Orthodox community forcibly seized their religious function. Topic. Revival of the Church At the end of the Communist rule, when religious freedom was restored, only 22 Orthodox priests remained alive. To deal with this situation, the Ecumenical Patriarch appointed Anastasios to be the Patriarchal Exarch for the Albanian Church. As Bishop of Andrusa, Anastasios before his appointment was dividing his time between his teaching duties at the University of Athens and the Archbishopric of Irinupolis in Kenya, which was then going through a difficult patch. Elected on 24 June 1992 and enthroned on 2 August 1992. Over time Anastasios has gained respect for his charity work and now is recognized as a spiritual leader of the Orthodox Church in Albania. Orthodox parishes with active liturgical lives have been established in a majority of cities and villages. Liturgical, preaching, and catechism ministries have been expanded, increasing the participation of both clergy and laity. Several groups have been organized to assist the Church with its ministries, the Orthodox women, and Orthodox intellectuals. The moral and spiritual strength offered through the cultivation of a sound religious life is contributing decisively to the general progress of the Albanian society. While most parishes use Albanian language, Greek is also used in areas where Greek is also spoken. In Albania, the Orthodox liturgy is the only one in the world to use modern Greek rather than coin of the New Testament. Topic. New clergy and ecclesiastical and theological education The Church has prepared a new generation of clergy. Anastasios started a seminary in 1992 initially in a disused hotel, which was in 1996 relocated to its own buildings at Shen Vlash, 15 km from the port of Duras. As of February 2011, there were 145 clergy members, all of them Albanian citizens who graduated from the Resurrection of Christ Theological Academy. This academy is also preparing new members men and women for catechism and for other services in different church activities. Meanwhile, students are continuing their theological educations in well-known theological universities abroad. Two ecclesiastical high schools for boys were opened, the Holy Cross in Jiracaster in 1998, and the Holy Cross in Sukht of Duras in 2007. Topic. New and reconstructed churches So far, 150 new churches have been built, 60 monasteries and more than 160 churches have been repaired. Many buildings have been built, and others have been bought and reconstructed for various purposes. These 70 buildings include, preschools, schools, youth centers, health centers, metropolitan sees, hospitality homes, workshops, soup kitchens, etc. Altogether there have been about 450 building projects. Through its construction projects and provision of jobs, the Orthodox Church is contributing to the economic development of Albania and is one of the most serious investors in the country, offering work for many local builders and dozens of workers. Since 1995, the Church has put on an architecture course from time to time, each year giving more than 40 young people instruction in various aspects of ecclesiastical construction and architecture. Topic. Media and publishing The Orthodox Church of Albania has its own radio station, named NG Jala, 
Resurrection, which 24 hours a day broadcasts spiritual, musical, informative and educational programs and lectures, and has a special children's program, a monthly newspaper with the same name, NG Jala, is published, as well as a children's magazine Gezohu Rejoice, the magazine of the Orthodox Youth Kambanat, Bells, the student bulletin FJALA Word, the news bulletin News from Orthodoxy in Albania published in English and Tempoli Temple and Kirkham Searching, Research magazine, that can contains cultural, social and spiritual materials, Honoria Joan our parish. As of February 2008, more than 100 books with liturgical, spiritual, intellectual, academic topics had been published. Topic. Social activities The Orthodox Church in Albania has taken various social initiatives. It started with health care, by organizing from 1999, Diagnostic Center the Annunciation Orthodox Diagnostic Center in Tirana, with some of Albania's most renowned doctors and administers health care and most contemporary health services in 23 different specialties, four medical clinics, and one mobile dental clinic. The office service of love Diaconia Agapes for a long now is contributing in the increasing of midwives and nurses role offering those training projects and assistance the orthodox autocephalous church of albania made extensive humanitarian contributions during the political and social crises 1992 94 97 collecting and distributing thousands of tons of food clothing and medicine Supported a wide range of social programs including, development projects in the mountain regions, especially in the areas of agriculture and farming, road construction water, supply, educative programs on health for children, the building of rural health centers and contributions for schools, orphanages, hospitals, institutes for the disabled, elderly homes, prisons i.e., the greenhouse financed and built by the church where the prisoners work and the income serve for them and construction of sports ground, soup kitchen for the poorest, etc during 1999 when Albania accepted waves of refugees from Kosovo, the Orthodox Autocephalous Church of Albania in collaboration with donors and other international religious organizations especially ACT and WCC lead an extensive humanitarian program of more than $12 million, hosting 33,000 Kosovars in its two camps and giving them food, clothes, medical care, etc. Apart from the theological schools, it has established three elementary schools 1st, 9th, 17-day care centers, two institutes for professional training named Spirit of Love, established in Terrain in 2000 which is said to be the first of its kind in Albania and provides education in the fields of team management, IT accounting, computer science, medical laboratory, restoration and conservation of artwork and Byzantine iconography, and Jirakasra, one professional school, children orphanage the Orthodox Home of Hope, a high school dormitory for the girls, also given technical and material support to many public schools. An environmental program was started in 2001, an Office of Cultural Heritage was established to look after the orthodox structures considered to be national cultural monuments and repaired. A number of choirs have been organized in the churches. A Byzantine choir has also been formed and has produced cassettes and CDs. A workshop for the restoration and painting of icons was established with order to train a new generation of artists to revive the rich tradition of iconography. The church has also sponsored important academic publications, documentary films, academic symposiums and various exhibits of iconography, codex, children's projects and other culturally related themes. The Orthodox Autocephalous Church of Albania actively participates as equals in the events of the Orthodox Church worldwide. It is a member of the Conference of the European Churches of which the Archbishop Anastasios has served as Vice President since December 2003, the World Council of the Churches of which Archbishop Anastasios was chosen as one of eight presidents in 2006, and largest interfaith organization in the world, Religions for Peace, of which Anastasios was chosen as Honorary President in 2006, is also active in various ecumenical conferences and programs. The Orthodox Autocephalous Church of Albania also contributes to the efforts for peaceful collaboration, and solidarity in the region and beyond. Administration and Holy Synod The Holy Synod of Bishops was established in 1997, and is currently composed of Archbishop of Tirana, Duras and All Albania, Head of the Holy Synod, Anastasios of Albania 1992. 
Metropolis of Bharat, Vlor and Kanina, Ignatios of Bharat, 1997. Metropolis of Kors, Joan Pelushi, 1999. Metropolis of Jiracaster, Sarande and Himer, Dimitrios of Jiracaster, 2004. Metropolis of Elbasan, Spat and Labraged, Andon of Kruja, 2017. Metropolis of Apollonia and Fear, Nicola of Apollonia, 2014. Metropolis of Amantia Nathanael Stergio, 2017. Titular Diocese of Kruja, Vacant Titular Diocese of Bilis, Osti of Bilis, 2012. General Secretary Protopresbyter, Fr. Yanni Trebica Gallery See also Archbishop Anastasios of Albania Religion in Albania Albanian Byzantine Catholic Church Christianity in Albania Topic. References Topic. Citations Topic. Sources Topic. External links Official website Article on the Orthodox Church of Albania by Ronald Roberson on CNEWA website History of the establishment of the church at the Wayback Machine archived the 17th of October 2005 History and description of the Orthodox Church of Albania on World Council of Churches website at the Wayback Machine archived the 9th of July 2008 Orthodox Peace Fellowship report on Albania at the Library of Congress web archives archived the 11th of July 2006